Recount of the presidential race is likely to start in the morning for Georgia this weekend. Trump campaign requesting a recount of all those votes. That is your top story tonight, folks. We're going to walk you through the entire process here. So how will it happen? Who's going to pay for all of this? And how long will it take? Hope Ford explains. In an anticipated move, the Trump campaign requested a recount in Georgia on Saturday. Gabriel Sterling with the Secretary of State's office says they were ready, equipping each county with a high-speed scanner. You go through the process of, of scanning every single ballot again, um, and they would have to be re-adjudicated again. While the Trump campaign specifically asked for signature matching in its request for a recount, that's not possible. Under the Georgia Constitution, ballots are secret and cannot be traced to the voter. What can be traced to the voter and every person in Georgia is the cost of the recount. The state is responsible for paying. When we moved the December 1 election and joined it with the January 5th election, the statewide runoff, we ended up saving counties millions of dollars, so our hope is a part of that money can be put towards that. Trump is getting support in Georgia from Republican Senators David Perdue and Kelly Leffler. In a statement released Sunday, Leffler says she supports the president and the state must, quote, investigate all voting irregularities. Perdue echoing the same sentiment, saying he's spoken to President Trump several times in the last week and every legal vote cast should be counted. Meanwhile, a spokesman for Perdue's opponent in the Senate runoff, John Ossoff, said Perdue and Trump refused to accept President-elect Biden won Georgia, and instead of focusing on the pandemic, they are, quote, peddling conspiracy theories. Leffler's opponent, Reverend Raphael Warnock, called the recount a political stunt, which could delay for a smooth transition of power at a time when Georgians need relief. The Secretary of State's office doesn't anticipate this recount taking very long, possibly wrapping up before Thanksgiving. Now, this will be the third time since Election Day that 5 million votes will be tabulated in Georgia.